Hi everyone, we're Two Crafty Sheilas. I'm Belle and I've got Loz here with me. Um, apologies to everyone, it's been a little while since we've recorded a video. Um, we've had a little few things happening around in our own households, um, but we're going to try and smash out some videos today and make sure that you guys get some good content. Um, anyone who's new here, welcome. Thanks for joining us. And anyone who's following us, welcome back. We're so glad you're here. And I think our first big bit of news was Loz put up a notification in our community tab to say we've now hit 100 subs. So, yay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. That was such a big milestone. I think we, we never really expected anyone to follow us. <laughs> no, not really. But to get wait, to 100, wait. that's just yeah, amazing. It's so cool. It's like we oh keep putting God. in our video descriptions, like we're just two Aussie girls who live in country Queensland, really. Exactly. And we ramble on about crap and we, <laughs> but we have a good <laughs> laugh, don't we? we? We enjoy ourselves and we love our diamond painting. So Absolutely. it's good to be able to bond over this and with everyone else as well. Definitely. Tell me, Loz, what are you working on? I am working on Nefertiti. So I have had this kit for a very, very long time. It is by Mandy Manzano and Diamond Art Club. So she's quite a long one. And still going. Still is this another going. 21 kit? Yeah, so this one is a 32 <laughs> by 58 um, round, which is nice because I am working <laughs> on Herbert. So if you've seen uh, my unboxing of Herbert, he's the big rainbow dragon from Dreamer's, Dreamer Designs. So... Um, I decided I wanted to work on a round, like, chop and change. Give me a bit of space from Herbert and go on to Nefertiti. So this one's a lot of confetti and I don't like it. But she's pretty <laughs> and I've had it for ages. And she's got these special special shaped drills, so all down the centre here. So oh, wow. that's going to be fun. And the pretty cool thing is it's mirrored. So pretty much everything on the outside, sorry guys, I'm a bit sick so my voice, voice might crack a bit. Um, it's mirrored, so everything's the same apart, like right down the middle. It's awesome. Not Is it mirrored? That's cool. It's about that. It looks, sounds like that. It sounds like the right thing. Um, I'm using Diamond Art Club tray. I do like this one for rounds. The other ones, um, my other fantasy sparkles, like I said before, doesn't work very well for me with rounds. Got my Diamond Art Club pen. I do have a new pen coming, and this is going to be my first ever hand turned pen, so I'm excited. And I'm using baggies with a lunchbox from Timu <laughs> as my little no. basket holder. It comes in handy. I think it works very well. So, yeah. So, what are you working on, Belle? I ended up finishing a Halloween kit in like eight days. <laughs> I think that's um, your fastest finish ever. <laughs> Pretty close, yeah. yeah I really love cool. it. Um, and unfortunately, you were sick, so I didn't get to do it in a whipping chat. <laughs> no, <laughs> but that's okay. That I'm going to make sure that everyone one. sees it in our finishes video, which will come out early next month. Yep. Um, but it's just beautiful. So that one was the Dreamer Designs. It was uh, Halloween Gnome and Cat, and like almost half of that piece were crystals. It was Incredible. just beautiful. Um, unfortunately, I've tried to show Laws, but like the the rhinestone look doesn't really come across in a video. So, sorry guys, I'm going to do the best I can. Um, but it just looks amazing. It but this is what I'm actually working like, now. It looks like the um, I was saying before the the mouth of the pumpkins were like holographic and that reflection. It was incredible. Yeah. But, yeah, you yeah. really can't show it in a picture. She's tried so hard to get me a picture. <laughs> yeah. It's it's so hard. Just like cameras now are designed to try and reflect a lot of that glare. But when you yeah. want it, how do you get it? <laughs> <laughs> it just it right. looks amazing. Um, it's, um, like I'm looking at it now because I'm getting a bit of sunlight through the door. And it's oh. even like all the moon in the background is all rhinestone. And like you said, like the mouth, the nose, the eyes of the pumpkins, they're all rhinestones. So yeah. when the sun hits it, it really does end up looking like the light's coming from within. It looks amazing. Yeah. 
They've done that was an amazing so well rendering done. there. Yeah. I've noticed that yeah. it's still in stock too, so that may be well, something I, I think, need. I think the ones that are made to order. Oh, is that the that's an overseas kit, is it? It is an overseas kit. Oh, okay. I see, I see. So I think they'll always be like in stock, I suppose. Yeah. Um but they're so good. And I love the fact that you can pick between rounds or squares for all of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you and I talked about when I was going to buy this, it was really hard to decide, but we actually ended up thinking that the round rendering looks slightly better. Yeah. The cat's eyes were weird in the square. It did, didn't it? It, it didn't mm -hmm. look, look right. It didn't look <laughs> wrong. Um, and it was interesting because I put this photo up in the Dream Designs Facebook group and somebody else had said they'd done it and they changed the eyes. And when I asked them whether they did round or square, they said square and I was like, yep, that's the that's, problem. Yeah, that's what we were put, we pointed out, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. But it's actually pretty good in the round. I like how it's come out. Oh, that's good to know. Mm. Um, okay, so what I'm actually working on, sorry guys, <laughs> is another end of Spangler. So it's cute as a button. Oh, I like that kit. So when I finish these two sections, I'll be halfway. Um, and this is just a 50.7 by 50.7. Nice. Um, and this weird. is the ones that I got in the Black Friday sale last year. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, storage wise, because it's just a little bubble one, I ended up just using the little Tic Tac containers. Oh, um, yeah. I found that was a bit easier. I, I did find, like, again, static. Again, really? So I've got dry seats in a few of them. Oh. And I'm noticing, like, trash wise, the browns are the problem. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Mm. Mm. Like, I've got to show you, like, with my Nefertiti, I've only done mm. one row, and that's my trash. And to me, that's oh. a lot for a diamond art. That is. <laughs> I know it's an older kit, but still, it's sort of not what yeah. you expect for them. So, that's it's frustrating, right. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else am I using? Oh, I've got, hang on, can you see? I've got this adorable little. Cover minder because we're still coming up to um, which way? Oh, that's so um, cute. coming up to Halloween, yeah. So I was like, I wanted that. Um, I've got my firefly tray with our little spout that opens. How are you finding that one? I like it. I will say, I don't know what it is, but like this has got the inserts where I can do like the Oh, single right. on this side or the Maltese or just the singles. I actually yeah. keep going back to just the normal lined ones. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm I definitely like that more. I had a I've got a tray from Fantasy Sparkles that did that, but like half of it has the line, like line to line them up yeah. for multi placing, but I didn't really like it. It's probably because of the colour that I got. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like a cranky Karen today. <laughs> Good luck oh, with us. <laughs> all right, we won't inflict too much pain onto all of our viewers. So apologies, guys. We'll make this one a bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try and be a bit well, happy. <laughs> yeah. um, I've also got my Randall Spangler pen oh, from uh, KJ's Artistic Treasures. I'll link it all below. This is the one that I won in the Spangler event last year. That's awesome. I love how you use it just for your Spangler kits. I think that's it's so much. fitting. Yeah. It's perfect. It's the right colouring. And I decided <laughs> to use some scented putty. So from Beck at Creativity Squirrel, I've got the red velvet cupcake one. Oh, what does it smell? Is, is it sweet? Yes. Oh, it smells nice. like it. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely Maybe smells like a red velvet. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think that's all I'm using. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. So, Laws, 
Mm-hmm. You know, and the kids have been a bit unwell. Yes. Um, we've had tonsillitis this time. Mm. It has been hell, I tell you. Um, it was school. We've just come out of school holidays. And, of mm. course, first week of school holidays, my daughter got sick with tonsillitis. Yeah. So it was her first time. She's almost 10. And her first time having tonsillitis. And oh, it wow. hit her hard. She was in agony and so much pain. But proud of her to push through. But she ended up losing six kilos. Over the two weeks. Oh, yeah. yeah, and eventually I got her on to, because I took her to the doctor straight away. The doctor's like, it's just viral, you know, it's typical, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, it was viral because we all ended up getting it. But as um, mm. soon as I put her on to the antibiotics, she got better almost straight away. So that made me sort of wonder, was it viral? <laughs> mm. um, so, yeah, a couple of days after she got it, I got sick. And I'm pushing on to two weeks having oh this horrible tonsillitis. And I tell you, it's not fun. But I can yeah, tell I'm getting better fine. because I've gone from having painkillers every six hours to twice a day now. So oh, <laughs> I can cool. tell I'm getting better. <laughs> better. So I do apologise for sounding like a real husky, probably caveman or something at the moment. <laughs> um, Your husband might be loving it. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I need to grow a beard. No, I can't do that. <laughs> what you do in the bedroom uh, stays in the bedroom, yeah. love. <laughs> Giving away our secrets. <laughs> no, yeah, so we've all been sick. Unfortunately, haven't done much over the school holidays. I had a few days, had to have a few days off work because I work with elderly and really did not want yeah. to get them sick. And um, so I haven't done much diamond painting. I think we worked out it was like 10 or 13 days. 10 days maybe that yeah. I did. didn't do any diamond painting and I was starting to get the itch but man I just I quite happily stayed in bed and binged NCIS so oh, <laughs> um, at least you did something started, good yeah well, I was into all the murder mystery stuff for a while but then I thought no I'll get back to my NCIS but yeah, yeah not much else is happening with us we um, got my son's birthday coming up we're going to go up to Townsville for the weekend and instead oh, of having nice. a party and, yeah, same old, same old. <laughs> yeah, but that's still exciting. Yeah, it'll be nice. He has a beat up to Townsville and we're, um, yeah, they've got like the a Lego um, thing at the museum at the moment. So I'm like, that'll be nice I'll to that, go and see. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. What about we, you? Um, going on? Yeah, we're back at school. Um, yeah. So we had the fun that um, they closed kindy care. Oh, I don't like that, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, husband and I both have professional jobs. Who takes yeah. the time off? Yep. It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> that was so stressful. Um, and they've already pre-warned us it's closed for all of December, January. Yeah, but you should be able to get him into a PCYC or Oshcare um, from next year. It doesn't have to be affiliated yeah. with the school if you don't want to because that was us. We had to. Yeah. Yeah, they had to they be They did at say that because as of 1 January, he'll officially be prep so yeah. he can go to Osh. Yeah, he just won't be able to go to kindy care. Yeah, and but it's provided Osh still have places. Yes, so get on to them now. We can't. <laughs> we can only book in eight weeks in advance. Oh, because I could get in and um. Oh, I suppose it was because my daughter's there. Mm. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was October. I could get on the wait list for days. Okay. We'll be able to for, from next yeah. month. Yeah, well, that was the PCYC, so I don't know what other OSH services do, but yeah, yeah, because that's what that's what made our decision to keep my son at daycare. You know, he went to the daycare kindy instead of a standalone yeah. kindy because of that. You know, working parents, you just we couldn't yeah. take the time off in school holidays when they close. Yeah, well, and we're supposed to have holiday care, 
Yeah. Um, but they haven't been able to find someone to cover all the hours. Oh. And because it's Hindi, <laughs> they've got to have that special qualification. Yeah. Oh, so so it, it's become chaos. And that was partly why my husband sent our son there was oh. he was at a daycare and we'd undenied about whether to have him at a school-based kindy. And then yeah. when we found out they had before and after school care and holiday care, we were like, that's fine. <laughs> because I can't, I can't isn't not it. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, isn't that frustrating? So frustrating. Yeah. So December is our busiest time of the year at work. Like we'll mm -hmm. do triple trade every day. That's unreal. How am I going to take time off? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've, we've been saying. told they're only taking time off over Christmas and New Year, so we're good for December and January, yeah. just those two weeks. But um, we could sort it out between the two of us. But, yeah, I feel for families like you who don't have that that um, freedom, you know, and you don't have the other support. Yeah. Oh, dear. And, I mean, I'm so, so um, glad that I negotiated school hours for work. Yeah. But that still doesn't oh. help me in holidays. No, no. So tell me about Sorry. the snake story. Oh, you my gosh. I only found story. out about it this morning. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I didn't even know what happened. So yesterday I went to get my nails done with a girlfriend. Yeah. And apparently while I was away, hubby and son ended up doing the washing because it was Saturday yesterday hmm. and they were outside hanging out the washing and our dog took off <laughs> and so my husband called him back I was like Leo come back our dog completely ignored him and so my husband was like oh something's going on <laughs> so then my son's calling out to the dog and so my husband's like mate you could just just leave it and so my son's watching my dog caught what we think is an eastern brown. Oh, my goodness. And apparently, like as cattle dogs do, picked it up, shook its head so hard and snapped its back. And my husband said that he could hear the bones breaking. Oh, no. And my son is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently... Um, the dog dropped the snake and then it must have made a noise or moved because he picked it up again and did the whole process again and my husband said he could hear more of the bones breaking oh, and then it stopped breaking. But I'm like, <laughs> no. did you try and block the view of our son? And my husband was like, no, he was asking questions. I'm like, dude, you can ask him the questions he likes. How about we don't traumatise him? Yeah, exactly. Yep. Oh yeah. I had something very similar happen a couple of weeks ago. Like, um, I don't know if I told you. We ha I've been hearing this noise at night time, like getting into the dog's bowls out in our patio. Oh, and yeah. um, a lot of my, my friends and my sister said, oh, it's probably a bandicoot, you know. I'm like, oh, yeah, probably that. I'm like, yeah, okay. So um, my husband was out there one day just cleaning, using the blower and cleaning off the patio and they saw a rat. <gasps> and I'm like, oh, my God, like first time we've had a rat. Now, we live around quite a lot of cane paddocks, so yeah. like sugar cane, and they are harvesting at the moment. So that's oh, why, wait, we got, coming out. why we got the rat. And um, so it ran behind, we had like these set of old, like an old buffet outside just to give a bit of storage for the barbecue and it ran behind it. So my husband moved it and I've got little dash hounds and mm -hmm. my dash hound spotted it. It ran out into the backyard. She bolted for it and she caught it. She was doing the same thing as your dog. She was like ripping it and like moving her head around and, and it was, I was watching from the bathroom window and I was traumatised. My, oh my kids God. thought it was hilarious. I'm like, that poor rat. <laughs> so I was feeling bad for the rat. Yeah. And then it was like, um, they're like, no, it can be poisonous to the dogs and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, so that makes sense. I'm okay. But I'm like, 
don't hurt the rat. <laughs> that shows I know, how like, right? much of an empath I am. But and I was exactly getting... the same. My we're husband was telling getting... me about this day, and yeah. I was just like, "Oh, the poor thing." Yeah, it, it had no interest in our family. Yeah, and then I'm like, "Hilarious, Easter Brown." Brown. <laughs> yeah, just an Easter Brown. <laughs> we've been God. getting like some green tree frogs as well, and yeah. they come out when the dogs like it's about eight o'clock at night, and. I swear we thought it was the one frog because we'd take it and we'd move him away, put him out near the road or in the bushes or, or whatever. Next night yeah. it would be back again. But last night we found out we've got two of them. So we re we get rid of one, the other one comes in, then the other one comes back and <laughs> we got yeah. read, like nature is just playing silly buggers with us at the moment. <laughs> yep. But I'm I've like, heard with three dog. frogs. You've actually yeah. got to move them like... I don't know, it's 10 or 15 kilometres away. That doesn't surprise me, I tell you. Yeah. I don't know what the it's number is, but it was big. <laughs> and I was like, far out. I think she could just deter the little buggers. Yeah. Well, these are. And I'm like, they just keep coming back. It was, yeah. I'm like, I don't blame them. Like, we've got a nice yard. But <laughs> basically, if you see those, um, yeah, those um, frog hotels, I've seen them on TikTok where they make all these pipes. And put oh, yeah. like little garden around them. Like maybe I should do that and just give them a safe space to to live. And <laughs> but I don't know. That sounds like a lot of work to me. <laughs> I'll just live in our um, downpipes in our septic system. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking they they'd be making a bit of noise in the downpipes, but it's like mm. we haven't had any rain. Oh, I should see how dry it is. I can imagine how dry it is where you are. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's gotten really bad. But we're coming up on wet season. Yeah, that's what my hubby's like. Oh, it's just because it's our driest month. <laughs> it is. I don't know. But, man, it's dry. It's getting a bit crunchy. And then we'll complain about how much rain we have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, stay tuned, guys. <laughs> we're going to uh, we'll start whinging about the heat. and <laughs> it's starting I had a to get customer hot. come oh. in the shop on Friday. And he was like, yeah. oh, I hope we get a cyclone this year. We'd miss one last year. Oh. I'm like, why do you wish us to have a cyclone? <laughs> exactly. Oh, we haven't had a doozy since um, Cyclone Debbie in 2017. So I've been, like, watching all the reports of those Americans going through their hurricane. Mm. Like, oh, and it breaks my heart. Brings yeah, my heart goes so much up. Memories of over there. Yeah. Just thinking of what we went through with Debbie and we didn't have power for over a week and yeah. it was, um, yeah, so our hearts go out to you guys. I hope you're all okay if we have any followers that are over there. Um, yeah, it's so sad. Yeah. It's, just, it's awful. It's so hard. It is, isn't it? The last just, one we had was Marcia. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. She, was, she was meant to come into us and then. Went down yeah, the coast. Yeah, around and hit us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When was that 2013? I think it was. I can't remember. I don't know. A while uh, ago. It just sort of blows. But, yeah, we haven't had a do. Oh, there was one last year, wasn't there? Wasn't yeah, there? it didn't hit us, though. No, it was up near Cairns. We got a bit of weather from it. But even when it hit Cairns, it was a bit of a fizzler, really. Yeah, they all haven't really been that. But I heard, like... The cooler the your winter, the wetter the summer. Okay. Like, we had quite a cool winter. So. We did. That's the coolest we've had for a while. Yeah. So I'm like, that's promising. <laughs> we need a good wet season, I think. We do. It's been terrible. Yeah. It has. Well, I don't really have anything else to update, but. No, no. We've been, sorry, guys. You think we've been away for so long, but honestly, not much has been happening, has it? No. <laughs> it's Today's a bit on, Yeah, I'll have a family holiday in a couple of weeks and I can tell you all That's about that, what we get up to. Um, I am going down to Brisbane. I have to go down Morning. for work. So I got four nights. Four nights or three nights? Three nights down there. Oh, that would be exciting. Nice. Now I have to do some um, refresher training for my job with the Department oh, cool. of Health. So. 
yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Some other colleagues of mine have done it and they um, said it was really good. So get to have a meet up with some of my other workmates. And where I work, my job is quite remote. So I'm I'm an assessor and I um, go into the nursing homes and yeah. see all the residents and stuff. And I'm the only assessor in my town. And so the wow. company I work for, we cover all of Australia. So we're a very remote workforce. We talk on teams and, and that. So we never get to see each other. And there's eight of us from my company going to this one. So I'm like so oh, excited brilliant. to meet up with some other assessors. And yeah, they're all the, the Brisbane assessors, but there's one coming in from Toowoomba and one coming up from Tweed Heads, I think she's in, and they're staying at the same hotel. So it's going to oh, be so nice. nice. I am really looking forward to that. Um, it be nice to sort of meet everyone. So that's And it'll be me. nice to have a hubby and kid-free time too. Oh, and it is. And, and I feel bad for my husband because he doesn't get that, you know, and he, he makes yeah. comments. About it and he works so hard and he doesn't get kid free time I'm like well I'm, I can't apologize for the job I have you know this that's is right. my profession I've worked for this I've earned this um work my butt off in the hospitals and and stuff and now to get a job that values me and you know it's yeah. And not that his job, that his workplace doesn't value him it's just completely different and I'm like well but it's a different industry yeah, it's completely different. And I'm like, well, you just need to find your own out. I'm like, yeah, so that's it. I keep trying to get him into diamond painting. You know, he refuses. <laughs> I'm like, I've got a big one. You can work on one end and I do the other. No, not even going there. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> Might get you uh, on your own. <laughs> I love my son. <laughs> yeah. I, was, um, I was finishing off that Halloween Gnome and Cat the other night. Yeah. And I had it at the table. My husband got home from work. And my son was like, Daddy, mommy's finishing it off. She's on the last colour. Was so excited. Aww. And so my husband was like, Oh, that's good. You know, like, you know, could get less. Yeah. <laughs> but my son was like, Come and have a look. Come and have a look. Aww. So we came over to have the sticky bag. He was like, Oh, that's great, isn't it? Like, you could tell my husband can't care. <laughs> yeah. And my son's like, Daddy. You should diamond paint. You might like it. <laughs> and Mark was like, "Oh, maybe. No, nah, it's okay." And my son's yeah. like, "You won't know unless you try. You can't say no until you've tried it." And I was like, "Good job, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> Soon you'll have him getting there saying, "Trust the process, mummy." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wish my were into it as much as me too. <laughs> my kids don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, my son's got a very short attention span. Don't <laughs> don't think it's any different. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, but when I can nice. get him, he loves watching it and he loves trying to help me. And it's just nice. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Nice to have something special, isn't it? I I have like a special thing with my son. I play Roblox with him. Oh, yeah. Usually before we go to bed. So he tries to get me into all these killing and fighting games. And I'm like, nope, we're going to play something fun and happy <laughs> where we'll laugh yeah. and be silly. Right. So, yeah. Oh, that's so all right. Well, we, we probably should wrap it up. I'm, I know it's quick. It's almost half an hour. But that's it's better than us sort of rambling on and... <laughs> We're making stuff up as we go. Yeah, we're good at that. But, yeah, we want to save you guys from that. I don't think you want to listen to it. But it sounds like your voice is needing a break too. Oh, definitely. I'm feeling I'm feeling it, guys. So yeah. we're going to work on some other videos and um, get some more content out for you, like Belle said at the start. And, um, and lots yeah. of me talking. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Enjoy it. Because <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take yeah. care, everyone. I hope you have a good week and we'll see you guys in here another time. Definitely. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.